Hello! In this video, I will be showcasing my own 3D visualization of the famous Coriolis effect. But before I do, what is the Coriolis effect? The Coriolis effect is the intriguing phenomenon that appears to influence the motion of objects over a rotating surface. Understanding how the Coriolis effect works is an absolute necessity for understanding the motion of the atmosphere and surface waters. It also explains many interesting weather patterns that just wouldn't happen if the Earth wasn't rotating. We often describe it in the following way. Objects attempting to move in a straight path relative to a non-rotating surface will end up traveling on a curved path with respect to a rotating surface. Here on Earth, objects moving in the Northern Hemisphere will find themselves deflecting to the right, and those in the Southern Hemisphere will deflect to the left, this is also why hurricanes spin in opposite directions on opposite hemispheres. However, whenever I try to find visualizations of the Coriolis effect, they always end up being either oversimplified to the point where they don't really convey anything beyond that simple explanation I said earlier, or they're too complicated, taking into account other factors unrelated to the Coriolis effect, which makes it very difficult to see exactly what the Coriolis effect is doing. And so, with a little C code, I've created my own 3D visualization of the Coriolis effects over the surface of a sphere. I hope that you'll find this visualization useful. We start with the Earth, which I approximate with a sphere 6,371 kilometers in radius. The motion of objects across Earth's surface are represented with colored dots 50 kilometers in radius. It's also worth mentioning that these dots are traveling outward at roughly 100 kilometers an hour, and that one second in this animation represents 24 hours of travel. Now let's make these dots easier to see. Now let's see what happens when I apply the Coriolis effect to the simulation. Notice how the deflection changes the shape of the paths. As you move towards the North Pole, notice how the paths curl tighter and tighter inwards. This is because the Coriolis effect strengthens as we get near the poles, and weakens as we get near the equator. When we cross the equator, the paths switch from deflecting to the right to deflecting to the left. As you predicted, objects in the southern hemisphere deflect to the left, creating this counterclockwise spiral. I'd like to note that the spiral we see here is rotating in the opposite direction that a hurricane would because the dots are repelled from the center, not attracted to it. I will now travel around the Earth to demonstrate that the Coriolis effect depends only on latitude, not longitude. Finally, let's see a polar orbit. We 
we should be able to observe how the symmetry of the Coriolis effect relates to the symmetry of the sphere. I never directly designed how these paths would warp and spiral. I only added in the Coriolis effects and let the simulation run. It's amazing to see how such elegant forms arise from a force that is completely fictitious in a stationary perspective.